this is Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at making telecharts and frequency tables. So, telecharts are very good for summarising categorical data. And so categorical data is data where you've got groups or word answers. So for example, when you, there you can see that we've got different pets, cats, dogs and fish, and those are all groups or word answers. So the telemarks themselves are a way of us recording the data that we collect from questionnaires or surveys. So if I just have one telemark, it means the number one. Two telemarks, two, three, three, four, four. And if I put a line through it, that means a block of five. So that means for the example there, for the cats, there's two blocks of five, so there would be ten pet cats. For the dog there's four and for the fish there are six. So let's have a look at doing an example of this. So I first of all need to start by choosing a categorical variable. So I'm going to choose gender and I need to think right I need one column with the label gender and I need to have my males and females so that's why I've got two rows beneath it. I need to have my tally mark as the heading for my second column. So then I'm going to put my male and female into the box as my headings. And now I need to go and count that data. So the first person, Jessie, she is female. So I'm going to put a tally mark in the female box. The second person, Caleb, is a male. So I'm going to put a tally in the male box. The third person is Amisha. She's a female. So I'll tally for female. Elena is female. So again, I'll put that in the female, and Luke is a male, so I'll add that to the male tally mark. So that's what a tally chart would be. To turn this into a frequency table, I need to add another column on the end with the frequency label. And then I just need to count up those tally marks. So females, there are three tally marks, so I put it's got a frequency of three. Male has a frequency of two. And so now it's become a frequency table. Thanks for watching.